are just days away from a wonderful weekend, Memorial Weekend, where of course we celebrate those we've lost, but also it is a big travel weekend and a lot of people are getting ready to uh, take some leisure time. Yeah. With their families. Right. The governor issued a proclamation today making this travel and tourism week in the state. News 19 Sam Perez joins us now with more on how that industry means big money for the state of South Carolina. Here in South Carolina, the hospitality industry has a more than $29 billion impact. The State Department of Parks, Recreation and Tourism says one in 10 people in the state work in hospitality, supporting more than 200,000 jobs. On Monday, the tourism industry was celebrated for that impact. I love Charleston. I like Gilbert, Gilbert, South Carolina. They have the Gilbert Peach Festival. We like going to Buford. I have to go with Myrtle Beach just because of the people, the environment, and, you know, the beach itself. All places that South Carolinians tell me they enjoy traveling within their own state. And for Columbia resident Nancy Mullen, it's encouraging to know that tourism is increasing as more people visit the Palmetto State. I'm glad they're coming because it produces money for the state. And that's what all states need. Because of our collective work in communities around the state, tourism related tax collections reduce the annual tax burden for every South Carolinian by nearly $1,000. South Carolina Department of Parks, Recreation and Tourism Director Dwayne Parrish spoke about the impact of tourism throughout the state as Governor Henry McMaster proclaimed May 19th through 25th as South Carolina Travel and Tourism Week. Signed by me, Henry D. McMaster, your proud, happy governor. Focusing specifically on the growth of sports tourism, which Parrish says is one of the fastest growing sectors in the tourism industry worldwide. Sports tourism combines two important elements for and that's the innate human desire to travel and our fanatic passion for sports. Whether it's visitors traveling to Lake Hartwell for the Bassmaster Classic, attending the Myrtle Beach Classic in the golf capital of the world, or visiting Darlington Raceway, the track's president, Josh Harris, says it positively impacts the entire state. NASCAR events at Darlington Raceway attract visitors from all 50 states, over 14 countries and annually generates over $112 million in economic impact to the state of South Carolina. And on those trips, when they aren't at the sporting event, they're discovering the host destination in the surrounding area and filling up our hotels and restaurants. Sam Perez, News 19, WLTX. Well, here in Columbia, Barbary says Columbia is a 12 month destination with hotel occupancy numbers and average daily rates of hotels staying pretty consistent throughout the year.